No, I don't think that there's any game you can go in without any pressure. You know, we're taking over 3,000 fans, so um, they're expecting us to go and win the game. Um, the players will put that pressure on themselves to go and win the game. And, uh, you know, I think that we feel that we're, we're in good mood, um, confident. Um, we should feel confident after um, the result last week, a tough, hard-fought match. Um, training's been good. Players are ready. You know, and Dundee United against Aberdeen always... Um, provides good atmosphere, uh, always provides something extra uh, on the game and uh, hopefully we see that in our performance because I expect Dundee United to, to bring that uh, because they see Aberdeen as, a, as that type of game as well so I think there's plenty of good players on show in both teams and uh, as I say, the aim is to go and win the game. How much of an eye will you have on events at Parkhead on, on Friday night and, and to what extent will the outcome on Friday night, whatever that may be, have in terms of the mindset of you and the, and the guys going into Saturday's game, if at all? No, well, it doesn't change the mindset of Saturday's game, but no, we will be watching it, we'll, just for the fact that we're, we've got Celtic next week, um, Tony and I will be at the game, and uh, and uh, we'll be watching the game anyway, just as we would any upcoming opponent. Um, so, you know, but Saturday's preparation doesn't change, the team will be named before it, um, we go going there to win the game, hopefully be strong enough to win the game at Tannadice. That's where our real focus is, is on that and uh, we think it's a big enough game and um, for that to be the case, so there will not be any kind of distraction um, from the actual game come three o'clock.